let me guess. And tonight's unlucky winner is... Smelling like a farmyard. <laughs> Andy Sugden, come on down. He happens to scrub up very nicely, thank you. And unlike you, weedy boy, he's actually got muscles. Yeah, mostly between his ears. <sighs> Three words for you. Mind your own business. That's four. Well, give me one reason why you like him. Hello. Yeah, apart from that, he's good with kids. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though, because he's good with a backhander as well. Ancient history love, and anyway, so am I. <laughs> but seriously, make sure you know what you're doing, all right? Oh, yeah, because you're the relationship expert after all. Excuse me? Uh, and another thing, regardless of what you two think, he's actually got a bit of class. He's taking me to the B&B. Laters, losers. <laughs> wow, now that is class. B&B, yeah. Well, depends what you used to, doesn't it? Not eating flies in a damp cellar. <laughs> yeah, but it won't be his idea, not after last time. So who do you feel more sorry for? Oh, no contest. He'll wake up not knowing what's hit him. Well, in a manner of speaking, of course. <laughs> Perfect match, if you ask me. Except, that's us. Hmm? Come here, tiger. <laughs> Everything all right? The yeah. wine list and the specials are on the board. Uh, we could probably do with a couple more minutes first, all right? Um, I, I can recommend the lamb, um, local. I'd also like to think that all of our dishes are served tonight, minus the histrionics uh, witnessed on previous occasions. Histrionics? Kicking off. I know what it means. It happened once. Hmm. Well, if you're here like I am every night, yeah, you'd think it was catching. Well, in that case, then, we'll have a bottle of the house red, Eric. So we're all nice to one another. No histrionics. Toot, sweet Andrew, thank you. Oh, what a pride. I'm surprised you wanted to come back here. Well, I thought we could start again, you know, see if we can get it right this time. Last time wasn't a date, remember? And maybe this time it ain't either. Yet. I'd better swatch myself then, eh? At least you haven't brought me in here after Katie and Inspector Moore so you can stare at them all night while I sit here like a spare part. Not your most memorable night, though. But... It wasn't a date. Right. So before you start plying me with the red wine, cos this one is... Maybe. Just bear in mind, we've all got baggage, love, and we all carry it around. The trick is not dropping it on everyone else. Right now, where's he got to? Cos I'm gagging for a drink. Ah, not for me, thanks. After two, I'm anybody's. <laughs> Gotta be up for work in the morning. Hell and I, then? Correct. All alone on this occasion. Still. Work's more attractive. Doing as many shifts as I can, unfortunately. Oh, has Leila put your rent up? <laughs> I will not mind seeing her try. You just want loads of money, then? You what? I'm sorry, this is all I could run to. What are you on about? I'm trying to provide for my kid, if you must know, and anyway, it's not to do with you. I, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, well, I'll go ask you if that's what you're worried about. Whoa, what happened? I'm paying, you know that. All I said was... You had to go poking your nose in something you know not about. All right. I'm sorry, God. Yeah, we should have thought that before, shouldn't you, making out like I'm some kind of money-grabbing slapper? Oh, come on. You've upset me now. I'm sorry. We should be. So, are we having that next bottle of wine then or what? It's not that late. Everything in order? I thought you... Everything's all right with me. Same again then. Excuse me. 